Hi everybody. So this week we're working on uh, white chalk on black paper and um, you need to find something that's dark in your home and put it on some black paper or you can put it on um, some cloth, anything that's dark. You can hang something over the back of a chair. Just set up whatever kind of setup works for you. I like to do this because it gives me an architectural structure in which to place my item and um, it allows me then to have shadows at the back and at the side and on the base. And it, for me, visually, it just makes it a lot more interesting. So uh, what I've done is I've uh, taken the chalk and... Uh, uh, basically done a done a, a drawing a sketch here um now just to note that the size of this is is quite good so you know if it's a large size like that that fills your page more or less that's what you want because it's easier to work on rather than something that sometimes people when they're not very confident they'll just go for something small because it feels achievable but actually it's only ever frustrating and irritating and um, will never end up as good as something that's just that little bit bigger. So that's the first thing. The other thing just to draw your attention to, I like to reference back to other things that we've done within the group. So when we did our one point perspective, you remember the one with the road that goes into disappearing, which is called a vanishing point. So you can use that in other ways. So I've taken artistic license just to help to draw, drag the eye in and I've created these lines that would have a vanishing point if you allowed them to. So um, it's just to kind of refer back to other things that we've done. Okay, so coming down to here, uh, <laughs> I am actually on my, what is it? fourth or fifth try of doing this and each time my phone has decided it's had enough maybe it's just had enough of listening to me moaning on um uh so um i'm really hopeful that we smash it this time so that's why it's already kind of out on the paper because i've kind of almost finished it and then the cameras died and then i've <laughs> i've had to restart so i've rubbed it out anyway here we go so there's a thing called negative space, which you may remember me talking about. And what the negative space is, is the things that happen in here and in here. And um, it's the things that happen behind uh, the whatever the main thing is that you're drawing. Um, and the reason that that's important is that um, it helps you to actually get your forms correct. Um, so, for instance, on the handle here, I'll talk about the main bit in the middle, but I just wanted to talk about why this is good so this is good this background area here that i've set up because it gives me a, a kind of stability where this is placed i know where it is there'll be shadows behind shadows to the side the lighting will show that it's placed where it is but this line here it's not only the shape of this that's important and it's not only the shape of the handle that's important it's also the shape that this makes this little this little bit here and the shape that this makes because if this shape and this shape is right then that shape will be right and that's that kind of thing of looking from one and looking at something else and judging one of the other to try and help you to kind of get forms uh, how you need them okay so the first thing that i'm going to do is just gonna bring in a nice roundness and you might go, but Karen, that's really quite white. Why do you want to do that? Well, I want to do this because this is lighter than the background, but I am also going to just smudge it down. And also I want to smudge it down because this isn't grainy. It's a very smooth satin glaze that's on there. So I'm just kind of working that in so that it's much more soft and I have a good basis. And I'll just give a smudge of that in there now. Uh, handle, just going to give a little bit of a colour into the handle and again I'm going to smudge it. It's very, very smudgy, very vague, don't worry about it. So I'm going to give it just a background here because you'll notice that as the light is coming in, it is just that little bit lighter there. So I'm just going to leave that a bit grainy. Right, next thing I'm going to do is looking at um, the handle. It's, well, hmm, 
I'm going to come back to the handle. I'm going to, because I'm getting a bit focused on the handle. I want to look at the body here. Um, I can see that this side here is a lot darker. So I'm just going to bring some of this just to lighten that off. So, well, not lighten, darken it off there. So it is that bit darker. Um, I'm going to look at what's happening on the inside here. So although this rubber is taking away in a way it, it what it's doing it's almost like me using a black um because it's bringing those dark tones back down and i can see i'm going to actually push it through to the other end because you can see on this edge i've got a real good sharp edge here and i'm just going to bring that across there and it gives you that kind of line that's happening on the inside and i'm just going to bring that down this is what i use to get rid of those bits because i'm a bit far away to blow and also it's less smudgy okay so i'm looking at that i'm also looking at um where i can have much lighter bits so i'm just going to give a real strong bit here and now i know it looks a lot more than what's there but the reason for that is we don't want it strong, we want it smoothed in like that. So I am allowing that to soften off and give that kind of... Now I will be using sharp bits on there as well, but you just need to uh, make sure that if something has a softness to it, you just try and keep it soft. Now I've got a little bit that I want to just kind of take out there because it's just could do with being a little less strong just on those bits so happy enough with that thinking about uh, uh, in here just going to soften that off just a little bit uh, now looking at the handle so we've got this behind which is good and nice and grainy and uh, I want to give this um, a little bit more definition so um i'm going to just take that top bit there and help it to disappear around the corner there and i'm looking at underneath i'm taking that there get rid of that and uh let's just have a little look i want to take that back to there so I've got a nice strong area there and it's just about having it kind of clean and crisp to there now I'm also wanting to take some of this hair off because that's much too wide I'm having to check that the camera is still working I've become paranoid at this stage that it uh, will stop on the Okay, I'll just get rid of this here. And I'm just going to put this back in here so that that's showing correctly there. Okay, so now looking at a few highlights. I have the top of here. I have a lovely little crisp bit. And 